fuck? No! God damn, man. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! oh what? My mind is fucked right now, man. What the hell? Love to all and welcome, everybody. My name is Black Hollow and this is Subnautica. Welcome back, everybody. It's so great to be back here. I fucking love this game so much. Every time I load it up, I get the biggest smile on my face. But anyway, let's get right into it because we have a timer ticking down. In the last episode, we visited uh, the Aurora and uh, explored a little bit. I got some of the... Um, uh, some of the fragments for a, a, what's it, a propulsion rifle or a repulsion rifle. I can't remember specifically which one it is. Um, but, oh, come here, peeper. Come here, I want to eat you. Thank you. Um, I can't remember specifically which one it is. Uh, but we got those fragments. Now, we were missing one thing, and that was a, uh, a laser cutter. I have not found all the fragments for the laser cutter yet, unfortunately. Uh, so we're gonna try to keep an eye out for those. Now, if you guys notice, the timer that's ticking down in the upper right-hand corner, that is for the sunbeam. At the end of the last episode, uh, we got a call from the sunbeam, or a radio message, rather, that they would be landing shortly, and they set a waypoint on our, uh, on our PDA. Uh, and that is going to be right over here in the, uh, in the mist. This big cloud looking thing. Uh, it's on the other side of that. So, we're gonna eat some food really quick, you guys. Uh, get our calories back in the acceptable range. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is get our inventory in line. It looks like for the most part we are in line. I actually think I could leave this fire extinguisher here. There's no real reason for me to have it. And I don't have one here. So, let me go ahead... And put that uh, over here, and let me check. Medkit Fabricator does have a medkit in it. Fantastic. Uh, we only have one right here, but I have four on my person. So I'm going to go ahead and swap that bad boy over. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, you guys, is I, I don't think it's going to take 30 minutes for us to get over to the Sunbeam landing site. So I'm probably going to take, like, maybe, like, 15 minutes, something like that, to get some stuff done. I'm going to make sure that I have everything that I need. Um, and, uh... What? Oh, the battery died. I was, <laughs> what happened to the sea glide? Um, I'm going to get some batteries together. I'm going to get some food together. Uh, actually, I think I have all the food that I need. I might just need to get some water together. Let me grab this peeper. Come here. Um, and uh, and then we can start venturing off uh, to go find out where the sunbeam is landing and uh, what that, that location has to offer us. What I will say is that, uh, in addition to not being able to find my base currently, uh, what I will say is that... Um, spaceships um they land on land most of the time and if they don't that happens so i have a feeling i may know what's back there but i'm just gonna let it surprise me got a grav trap fragment i know i have one of these already uh but it looks like that's the same one and so is this one i think yeah i just get like titanium or something like that <gasps> oh Okay, well, that one was a different one then. They they literally looked exactly the same. Like, what the hell? Okay, that is already accounted for. God, I gotta find those fucking fragments for the laser cutter, dudes. I need that very badly right now. Also, we got the blueprints for a compass, so I wouldn't mind crafting that up as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Where is he? Where? What a good life he lived. There it is. Oh my god, I've been looking for that for quite a while. Okay, we've got more of the grav trap. Fragments located close by, but nothing for the laser cutter, man. Or the seamoth, for that matter. What about this stuff over here? Anything, anything I can use? Nope, nada. Alright, I got some pieces of copper, some acid mushrooms. Um, okay, fine, you can call me Captain, whatever. And I'm gonna use those to make... A couple batteries and replenish the ones that I have uh, utilized uh, in the last episode and the one that I just spent on the Sea Glide today. Might as well get all the empty ones out of my inventory as well. I think I might actually have... Wow, yeah, I have a lot of batteries right now. Med Kit Fabricator has a med kit in it, and I believe that that brings me up to... Yeah, I've got four on me. I am going to be venturing out quite a ways, so I think I will be taking those with me. Uh, but I also want to make sure that I have enough room to bring shit back, you know? And with this cooked peeper, this should, I believe, yeah, bring us back up to almost 100. So now health will naturally regenerate. The last thing that I'm going to do now, you guys, is I believe I will get uh, probably a little bit of salt for some water. Uh, some disinfected water. And then 
I, you know, honestly, I don't know if I want to go there at night, but I just might, so that, that way I can arrive there at sunrise and make the most of the day. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, you stay away from me. Please go away. Please go away. Thank you. Okay, he speaks English. What are you? <gasps> oh, God. Okay, all right. It's hurting me. It's whatever it is, it's hurting me. I've never seen one before. That's amazing. Is this salt? Please tell This is quartz, isn't it? God damn it. I've been looking for salt for so fucking long. 20% of battery long. That's how long. I can't find any. Oh, my God. There's some finally... I have been looking everywhere for it. I wanted like four pieces, but I can't find any anywhere. So I think I might just have to settle with one. Subnautica, can you pass the salt? I can't fucking find it anywhere. Wait, what? Pick up a stalker tooth? What? I didn't know that, what? I didn't know that that was a thing. What the hell? Like, okay. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. I already got all those. Let's get the hell out of here, you guys. Wonderful. The sun's coming up and we're wasting daylight. I can't find my... F Somehow I ended up on the other goddamn side of the life pod. This sea glide thing is dangerous. You go for 30 seconds, man, and you're like half a kilometer away from where you were. I gotta get back. Oh my god, what a night. I wanted it to be a productive night, but all I did was waste 53% of a battery and be lost. That's it. A sharp hardened calcium formation shed by one of the indigenous creatures. I wonder what we use it for. I have no idea. All right, the last thing we're gonna do before we hit it, you guys, is we're gonna make some bleach, get some water because I only have one bottle right now, and then I'm gonna try to catch a bunch of bladder fish on the way or whatever the fuck they're called, the fish that give you the water, uh, because I just did not get anything last night. I really, really tried, and I could not get it. Let me go over my inventory one more time. I uh, don't need the... Oh, I got another salt. Coral, coral, coral. I need coral. Give me coral. The more water, the better. Seriously. Okay, we've got bleach because I don't know how long I'm going to be there for. Um, and again, I, I'll tell you guys what I think is going to happen if it happens. And I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. So we'll just see. Uh, but uh, let me see here. We've got... I think five water now. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I'll drink some bladder fish on the way. It looks like I did have coral in my inventory, actually. So let me go ahead and just throw those guys over. I don't need the stalker tooth as well. We've got a whole row, six cured peepers. We've got four med kits and five waters, two flares, and every single fucking thing that we could ever need. I think I'm ready to go. If anything, I think I have a little bit too much stuff. But you know what? That's okay, because that's going to encourage me to be careful. All right, closing in on the last kilometer, and there's a bladder fish. I'm going to snag him. Wait, no, where'd you, where'd you, come here, come here. Okay, got him, and now, oh, I, yeah, that's right. I need to use the fabricator. I can't click on him and drink, I see. For some reason, I thought that you could just sushi style, like, right into him, you know, just, just, and just go for it. I guess not. I mean, I, <laughs> I guess not. I mean, it's just been so damn long since I've used bladder fish for water. I always go for the disinfected water now, and I, I use bleach because it does such a damn good job at restoring a lot of your hydration. I mean, the bladder fish really make it feel like you're fighting the elements constantly out here in Subnautica uh, in terms of hydration. But once you start getting bleach, it's a great source of just keeping your meter up all the way and not having to waste space on, uh, oh my god. It's a new biome. What are those? What are those? Oh my, uh, I want to go meet him. Hello. You look nice. Hello. How are you? Fun fact, if you, if you approach them by the side. Okay, hang on. I'll be right back. I'll come meet you in a sec. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. 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 Is it this one? Is it this one? Uh, or is it a different one? He's a pretty big boy, but I mean, I've seen a hell of a lot bigger. That's for damn sure. Let me go. <gasps> That's exactly what I thought was going to happen because you can't land a spaceship in water, but you can see the land from space. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we've got a fucking space island. Um, okay. Now I, uh, I don't think that that thing is following me anymore. Also, the computer said that it was detecting a massive 
energy signature somewhere. I was thinking it was gonna be something crazy underneath the surface. Um, it still very well may be. That's a very deep, oh my god, that's a very deep area down there. However, now I'm looking at this big fucking alien Tetris block over here, and I wonder if maybe this Jenga tower is the source of the energy. I think it might be. Oh my god, I'm Matt Damon. I know it's not a red planet, but still, I just feel like Matt Damon right now. Can I stab it? Bulb, bulbo tree. Bulb. I harvested a bulbo tree. Bulbo tree sample. Oh my god, you can eat it. Food 10 H2O. Consume? Give me more. Give me more. Oh my god, I wonder what this shit tastes like. All right, last two. There we go. What a good source of food. I didn't even need to bring my food with me. Okay, look, I just saw one of those creepy little fucking eye spider thing, so I need to be really careful about where I'm at out here. Is this something that I can scan? Is this for the sea? Ah, uh, it's for the Cyclops. Okay, whatever that is. Hang on, let me see here. Get this guy all scanned up, and bam! We've got, um... Blueprints for the Cyclops unlocked. I don't think that I unlocked the entire thing, did I? That wasn't the whole thing. Was that the whole thing? Creature decoy, the grav trap, nah, it's sea moth, repulsion cannon. Cyclops engine blueprint. Okay, I get it now. So you need three things just for the engine. And then you need se I see how it works. Hey, we got some salt. Yeah, I'll happily take that. I can bring that back home for some water. I don't know what the hell you are. Ow! God, he's called a biter! How did- what, How did they know how to call him a biter right off the bat? I feel like I should have been the one to name him biter. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've been playing Minecraft long enough to know when my KV senses are going off. Uh, and you stay the hell away from me, you fucking spider. What is this? <gasps> oh, I want to go exploring. Uh, okay, first- Ow! God damn it. First things first, let me check and see. Uh, we're 80 meters out. I want to find out where specifically this is at. What are these? I can't do anything with those. Um, so that way I can return to it easily. You know what? I'm- <laughs> I might as well go check that out. I mean, it looks pretty interesting. I mean, okay. Uh, looks like, wow, what a shitty landing spot. What the fuck kind of rinky dinky spaceship is going to come rescue me? The one that I was hoping for would use a volcano to eat its cereal for breakfast as a bowl. Like I'm looking for some behemoth to come and rescue me and they're sending a fucking life pod probably. Oh my God. Have you ever gotten that feeling? That you are in an alien world and about to make first contact. Yeah, me either. What's this? Purple tablet. Oh, ooh, stare into it. No, look at it. Stare into it deeply. Okay, all right. Well, we put it in our in our cargo pockets, I guess. What the hell is this fucking Davy Jones locker looking shit? Is that the Aurora? Yeah, that's the Aurora. What are you? Can't do anything with you. I'm gonna say, it looks like you have some sort of logo on you. Oh my god, there's so many things. <gasps> there's something down there, I bet. All right, it's just a beach, one of the two with resources. Oh, fuck. All right, we're, uh, we're walking on a, uh, we're, it's, it's made, but it's not man-made. That's for damn sure. What the hell is this place, man? Holy shit. Okay, I am not allowed to jump up there. It would appear. I don't even know if I'm allowed to walk around on the top of it. I may be disrespecting some sort of god or something like that right now. Oh, God. I'm really thudding around. They're going to hear me, aren't they? Sneak around this side. Am I supposed to be doing what I'm doing right now? Is this allowed in the game? Is that where they walked the plank? No, I think that's actually where their ships came in. Does this whole fucking thing open up or something like that? I, I know it doesn't do it right now. Like, I can just tell by the frame rate that I'm probably not supposed to be doing what I'm doing right now. Also, to do what I'm doing, I have to do this. So, <laughs> odds are I'm not supposed to be here right now. I might have to go inside this thing. Oh my god, I actually made it up. I didn't expect to make it up there. Okay. Um. Oh, hey, now we're on the top over here. Nice. Oh, wait, did I just fuck it up by, by jumping down? Can I keep going around? Okay, you know what? I highly doubt that we're at the end game in fucking, what, five, six episodes of gameplay? Like, we're five and a half, technically, because I've only been recording for about half an hour. Um, so, I think I'm gonna save the parkour journey for another time. I would really like to get to the top of that thing, though, or at least see how far I can take it. Now, obviously, we have the cave, 
So I think that's going to be where I go instead. I, I, I just don't know if I'm supposed to be jumping around on that fucking thing. Like, I would really like to. Don't get me wrong. But I have a timer that I have to deal with. And that is just kind of at the forefront of my priority list. God, it never gets old being in an alien world. This right here, what we're doing right now is why I fucking love video games. See, guys, we're part of this weird ass generation that uh, don't get to discover the new world, but don't really get to go to space. Don't get me wrong. Like we get to watch like Falcon. Hey, lithium. Nice. Get the fuck away from me. You weird ass looking thing. Um, But uh, we don't get to really go to space. We don't get to really discover the new world. Like all that shit's done. This is the cave. And it's just like a like more like a cavity than a cave. I mean, not really very impressive unless it keeps going off in this direction. Um, but, uh, yeah, we just don't get to, we, there's, we're in this weird halfway period. In a couple hundred years, there's going to be crazy adventures. Oh, look at those stalag, uh, tights or mites. St st I can't fucking remember. I used to love science, but it's just been too goddamn long. Like, that's, <laughs> that's just how it goes. Sometimes when it's been too fucking long, it's just been too fucking long. Um, I'd assume that I can touch the cave water, considering the fact that I can touch all the other water. <gasps> oh my god. I had a feeling I might see something like this. Holy shit. Um, I don't know how good of an idea this is. Like, I maybe want to hold off on going down here, but goddamn. Blue palm. I can't- Ow! What are you doing down here? You're supposed to be only on land. You sturtled me. Um, uh, what the hell is this thing? Oh, it's one of the it's one of the birds, but for some reason it's like it's got to go underwater to pee, I guess. Okay, how do I How did I get in here? I can't forget how I got in here. Oh god, I'm already fucking up. Oh, okay, this is just like one big cavity. Essentially, the progression from here is going underwater and going into whatever, you know, cave system is down there. So, right over here is how we get out. There we go. Nice. I was I was really concerned there for a second because the timer was ticking down uh, and I also don't know how late into the night we are But I think it is pretty fucking late right now. Yeah, it is late here is outside. It is nighttime ladies and gentlemen Thank God I brought extra batteries. I'm sure a bunch of you were like holo. Don't take all your batteries You're gonna lose them and die. Well <laughs> I probably I mean, let's be real here probably but for the time being I get to enjoy some light Oh <gasps> Oh my god, it fucking lights up. That is going to be a cool shot. Hang on, how do I, how do I turn this off? There we go. <laughs> oh my god, that is fucking awesome. I don't remember seeing that pyramid thing before. Is that like, hang on, let me see here. Is that like in the, <gasps> they give off ambient light. Oh my god, that's the coolest thing ever. What the fuck? I don't remember seeing this before. <gasps> oh, oh my god, I love this game. Would you like the purple tablet? Dude, I have a purple tablet. I just don't know how to use it. Is it in my inventory? Is it in here? Yeah, this. This. How do I? I can't put it down on my hotbar or anything like that. Hang on. Wait a minute. Let me see. Actually, I can't even. I can't even do anything right now. Uh, two and a half minutes until the sunbeam arrives. Um... But, uh, I mean, I know, I know, I'll, I'll make it work, okay, I'll make it work, I'll make it work, and what's in here, I'll make sure I'm back, don't worry, I'll make sure I'm back, hello, housekeeping, you want me to flap your pillow, indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity, yeah, I was walking no around on it, found in database, performing structural analysis okay works for me i have a feeling that i might have had the opportunity to explore this uh at greater depth oh my god it's like the lights in albertson's that turn on automatically hey my battery died now i get to use a battery i find it kind of ironic how my battery died when the alien battery light turned on um probably proves the reliability in our oh my god Hello? That's somebody out there. It's probably like their dinner table or something like that. I swear. I don't know your customs. I'm sorry. I say. Uh, ancient technologies. I have 60 seconds. I have 60 seconds. I don't know if I have time for this. Do I have time for this? Data terminal. Yeah, download it. Download it. Unknown language. Unknown 
language. Attempting translation. <laughs> Good luck, computer. Good luck. Um, I'm hearing noises, but I think that might just be from my PDA. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. No, we have to get the sunbeam. We have to get back to the sunbeam. We gotta go. Uh, I hear something. I hear something. I hear something. Is that what I think it is? What? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No! Sunbeam! No, 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 no. It's a fucking turret. No, 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 no. Oh god. Survivor. We see you. We see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. No! We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. No! Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? It's a launcher, dude! It's a missile no, launcher. No turning back now. No. Positions, everyone. Aww. Touching down it. <gasps> no. Eight. No. Fuck. From the building. Fuck. No. Set thrusters to full. God damn, man. Oh my god. Oh. Ho, ho. oh ho, ho. What? My mind is fucked right now, man. What the hell? Sunbeam? Do you copy? There's been a malfunction. I'll take you down single-handedly. I know this is your weak spot. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, take cover. Take cover. Is it just going back up? Okay. It's going back up. Okay. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Oh my god. This is, um... <clears throat> this is a bit of a problem, I would say. Let's see if we can go back into the belly of the beast and figure out what the fuck this is. I'm not putting the knife away for this one. All of me wonders as well what would have happened if I had been down here when all of that went down. of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. The control room in the lower section. Alrighty, this green uh, cube caught my eye before we exited the area. What is this? Oh my god, pick up the ion cube. <laughs> what if I had removed this earlier if the thing would have been working? Give me this shit. What is this? Looks like a fucking Minecraft block. All right, well, ah, there goes all hope of rescue. I thought that was like a monster coming for me, but it was just the it was just the stone gliding back down. I cannot believe that that happened at all. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Yeah. Further data required. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Can I scan shit? Can I scan anything? I don't know if I can. I don't think I can. No, I can't. All right. It was worth a shot. They were saying more data was required. So it was worth a shot. What else could be down here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now the cube looking thing. Ah, oh no. These are the cubes. That's something else. Probably a data terminal. Yeah, I'm going to pick that thing up. We'll get all of them because I have the feeling that they're very important. There's nothing I can scan. Nothing I can really do at this point. God, this place just keeps going on and on and on. Trying to recount in my mind as well, like, how to get back out. So far, it seems pretty simple. Unknown. Another unknown language. All right, here's what we're going to do, you guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to listen to both of these. First, uh, alien data terminal. Discovered inside an alien facility. It was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid-state computer although there are no clear ways to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and used uh, and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Oh, God, here we go. Well, I mean, case in point. Right here, am I right? I don't know how much farther we could go down here, dudes. We still have the cave as well. Something tells me that if we venture down into the... <gasps> oh, no. No! I didn't... I didn't walk forward, though! 
I didn't walk forward! What the fuck? I didn't walk forward! I just walked up to it! Oh, okay. It's controlling me. Oh, my God. I thought I was dying. Oh, <laughs> Oh boy. All right. Force field control. I, oh my God, you guys. I, this right here is why we brought all this shit is because I knew stuff was going to happen. There was no way we were at the end game yet. Oh God. All right. Well, they have an Olympic sized swimming pool down here. Is this a force field at the end? Yeah. I think I'm okay to dive in here. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, yeah, we're at 107. I didn't bring my rebreather with me, did I? Uh, no, it's just the sea glide. God damn it, I have my rad suit on. I should have brought the rebreather. Well, that likely may be an exit out there. Not gonna concern myself with it for the time being because it's not the exit that I want. It's not the place that I came in through. And while I do have a sea glide, I don't know, it's nighttime out and I just. I don't feel good about it, so let's keep pushing forward into the facility. Um, I don't see much else. There's an ion cube over there. I don't even know what they're used for. Let me look at the description. High capacity alien energy source. Oh, interesting. So it's like a battery of sorts. All right. I can probably power things like the, um, the Cyclops. Yeah, the Cyclops and maybe like the, uh, the Seamoth and stuff like that. The bigger vehicles. I can probably utilize them on those. At least I would think. Oh, what is this? Oh my god, is this a gun? Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Give it to me. How do I get it? Give me the gun. I don't get the gun, I don't think. God damn it. All right. Well, I don't... Uh, can I scan it? Can I... Oh my god. Alien rifle. Holy shit. Uh, data downloads. Data... But, uh, yeah, there we go. Strong resemblance to human weaponry and form. This device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built this structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defend, uh, defending this facility a necessary precaution. There's no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. God damn it, I gotta push a button somewhere, don't I? I'm gonna go farther back over here and see what I can find. It looks like another energy room of sorts. Okay, um... I don't, I don't really know what I can do here. I mean, maybe I, can I, I don't think I can set ion cubes right there. Uh, wait a minute. It's telling me I can scan shit. Alien. Oh, hang on. Scan. Wow. I, I don't scan enough stuff. I'm just going to throw that out there. Like, I understand. I don't scan enough stuff at all. This structure's intended purpose is unclear. Theories on function, ceremonial or religious role, industrial applications, and advanced transportation network. Assessment for the research is required. I'm going to keep my scanner out. Self-scan? What the fuck is a self-scan? What the hell? Uh, self-scan self complete bacterial infection. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. What? Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. What the fuck? Okay, scan it again. What bacterial strain is it? Infect- Infected! What? <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. It just says infected on the fucking thing. Okay, my food and water is getting pretty low, so let's go ahead and uh, consume some water, and we'll consume a couple of the cured peepers. There we go. It's not too dehydrating. Um, health is looking good. Everything is looking good. Now, what the hell is this thing over here? I can't scan it, so it must just be part of the arch structure as a whole. Let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. All right, going up a floor, finding out what's up here. Uh, looks like... Whole bunch of just ro oh don't mind if I do considering the fact that one purple tablet granted me access to this facility I can only imagine what a second one will do for me uh let me check what's up here we've got another thing that I can probably scan I wish that I could actually craft these things alien device uh it's responding to my scanning a doomsday device. What the fuck? Does it hold gray matter? Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. What is this place that I've stumbled upon? I feel so feeble. Aha. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. All right. Well, we are going for that control room. Let me go ahead and scan this really quick. Find out some stuff about this bad boy. This device matches no known technologies and is likely an alien in nature. 
uh, and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. Technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. This one right here. There we go. I wonder if they all have different, like, hieroglyph symbols on them for different areas and stuff like that. I suppose it's a linear progression, though, so that wouldn't really factor into it. Um, all right, let's see here. That's one thing I will say that they did very well in this game. There are a lot of other games, especially AAA titles, that I get fearful of being either soft locked or glitched or whatever. This game so far has been so incredibly reliable and wonderful, like, including the frames. I remember the first time I played it, it just had this, like... It was constantly stuttery. It had the early access feel to it. Uh, and now it feels like such a polished and beautiful game. All right, let me go ahead and uh, we'll get up here. It looks like everything is clear. Hi! Uh, give me a second. I'll be right with you. Uh, okay, great. Yeah, he's waiting. Doesn't look like there's anything back here. Before I commit to doing anything, I just want to make sure I check the entire facility. Okay, interact. What? Do I got to stick my finger in there? Don't tell me I'm sticking my finger. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> it looked like he was sticking his finger in there. Hello. How are you? I was supposed to stick my... Oh. What the fuck? What did it do to me? The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. Oh. This planet is under quarantine. Ah! God damn it. Okay. Well, um... I see now. I see. And I see why it poked me. Yeah. Downloading summary to data bank. Interesting. I wonder how long I've been able to do that self-scan for and tell me about that. Alien facility locations. <gasps> oh my god. Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. 800 meter depth disease research facility. Oh my god, you guys. That's the story. It's escaping the planet by curing yourself of the infection. Oh my god! So, there's some- hang on, let me finish reading this. Uh, thermal power facility at 1200 meters. Uh, sanctuary A and B datas are corrupted with the off-site laboratory and the primary containment facility. Oh god, I do not want to go there. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming an outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off-world. What an incredibly sophisticated response to such a tragic event. Whatever the hell happened here, it clearly affected an intelligent race. It wasn't simply... Uh, oh, and actually one of the last things I'm going to do is going to be a self-scan on my way out here. Uh, yeah, still infected. Okay, I see. I totally get it now. I thought they were talking about like strep throat or something like that. Um, so anyway, uh, this obviously affected a, a very intelligent species of sorts, um, and they initiated this response just to ensure that anything and everything coming in and going out would be destroyed. If you are airborne and you're trying to get out or in, you're going to be shot down because regardless, you're just gonna, you, I mean, think about it. If somebody ended up here and survived, like, they, all they would want to do is leave. So now that is going to be our mission, but in addition to doing that, we're going to have to try to find the cure, I would imagine. Or we're just going to have to try to find some, you know, hacks and stuff like that and get through the fucking, through the, the needle thing and see if we can find a non-infected uh, entity. I really do wonder how exactly... Okay, let's go straight up here. Yeah, I believe that this is... What the fuck is that? I don't want to know. Um... We, uh, we definitely need to figure out the, uh, the cure. Oh, God, it's nighttime right now. Yeah, it is nighttime. Okay, let me go ahead and turn on the flashlight. There we go. God, it is so dark out. I think my only hope at this point, you guys, is just to beeline it for the life pod. I'm not going to find anything else out here. There's not much more that I can do. Uh, we need to get a lot more crafted up and stockpiled, but this was a massive chunk of the story indeed as far as the um you know the escape and everything like that is concerned you guys i have a feeling that this is going to be going on for quite a while so i don't know how many more radio calls and stuff like that are going to come in uh there will likely still be resource gathering in the episodes i think what i'll probably end up doing 
is um and actually i'm gonna turn the i'm gonna turn this thing off there we go and keep the flashlight on i think i have the flashlight on no i don't uh there we go now i have the flashlight on um I, uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, is try to gather up resources and stuff like that while I'm recording in case any of those messages do come in. Uh, but for the most part, it's time to really take chunks out of the story, figure out where we're going from here. There are a lot of cave entrances that I want to go for. Hey, there's salt. Take that, definitely. I didn't, I don't think I picked it up. I'm mashed clicking, but I don't think I got it. I got a frame rate starter that kind of screwed me up. Um, anyway. I, uh, I, I'm gonna do resource gathering and stuff like that, but, you know, we've got caves that we need to explore, such as the, uh, the mushroom fucking cave that I went into not that long ago. Um, we've also got a lot of fragments that we need to locate, um, so this is just gonna be, uh, the time to get at it and, and figure out how to cure ourselves of whatever this infection may be. I don't really even know how we... Obviously, we contracted it by just being here, but is it airborne? Was it in the water? We started the game pretty much like it here, and there's no way that you can do anything without touching the water, so I think you're just infected by the time you get here, but god damn, man, that is just, I never expected that to be the way that they, you know, that they took this game. I thought that it was going to be uh, a very survival-based uh, game that was more on you know, just uh, building the badass base and trying to build your own rocket to get out. But it's maybe you do build a rocket or something. I'm not going to, you know, try to jump to conclusions on that. However, the idea behind why you are stuck here, you had the opportunity to get out. You literally had somebody coming to rescue you. They were just shot down for the same reason that we were shot down. And it's just, I don't know, it's I'm, I'm fucking in love with this game. It's so good, and I cannot wait to see where it goes from here. I don't know what we're going to do next, you guys, so I think I'll keep an eye out in the comments for any tips or tricks on where to progress from here. I might look up a couple things on, you know, what might be best to go for first. Obviously, we can just go down the list, but maybe for some reason going for the thermal power facility is a little bit better. Also, I do see the difference between depths. This is obviously 800 depths, uh, or depths, meters. God, I'm an idiot. And then this is 1,200 meters down here. Um, so obviously, not only is this a significant increase above the 100 meter depth that we were just rated for with the rebreather, but it's past 500, which I would think is the next level of, you know, you can't go past this. Or maybe even 250, because that's even getting pretty fucking deep. So we probably need... Uh, some sort of a, a a thing to, you know, a machine to dive with on this one. Maybe the Seamoth. But then looking at this one being past a thousand, I think we would need to get the next vehicle for that one. So you guys, like, the, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how right I am. I don't know how wrong I am. But all I know is that I'm incredibly excited for the future of this game and where it goes from here. The story is going to be amazing. And I cannot wait to experience it with all of you guys. Thank you so very much for watching until the end if you made it this far please leave a like down below support the series now we'll catch all of you in the next one so friends if you enjoy what you see and only if leave a love in the comment section or leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the rest or whatever the hell comes next and as usual enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you guys again